We won't Hi. be too long. Hi. So today we're going to tap. Uh, we're in 2020, September 2020, and uh, we're we're going to tap really about coronavirus and just you know it's been stressful. It's so yes, stressful. and and I, and I was counting the months this morning. Are we on month six? Yeah, I was like March tenth was the day that I gave up my office. Yeah, I was. I was. I'll never forget that week. It was like every week, every day. It got a little bit more like cataclysmal. I remember Friday the 13th was like really, really like the worst. And then that Saturday I worked and that was the 14th and that was the last I've worked um, for six months. Yeah, I took a, I remember taking a road trip right before and it was when the virus hit and it was hitting the United States and it was in Washington state and it was heading through the country and I decided that I was not going to fly and I was going to drive and I was going to take a trip by myself and I was going to be very careful. I mean, this was literally the end of February. Wow. And oh, I, didn't really I had a, I had a, I had an in my intuitive, my gut feeling told me that it was going to turn out really, really bad. And I needed to get this trip, this road trip out of the way because I hadn't been, you know, hadn't had a trip or a vacation in so long. So I already knew it was happening. I just wanted to get, you know, it out of my system before we went into the court. So yes, and then, and now, you know, it's been, and it's, some of it is not new, but it's been disappointing to see how all of the division in our culture right now has really affected people's perspective. And, you know, some of it has gone into like, a little bit into like, you know, I have, I'm, I'm sympathetic to alternative, you know, therapies and alternative thoughts and all people's opinions, but sometimes it gets into a little bit the the zone of conspiracy and, um, yep. you know, and also just being disrespectful of others. So it's not, not to say like, it, you know, so everybody is entitled to their opinion, but we should respect others, you know? And, and we're not going to get anything accomplished if we're constantly divided and, and we're, we're not going to, and, it, and it's like, you know, I've said it before and I'll keep saying it, you know, I, I look at all of these people, whether it be on the news, Facebook or YouTube or whatever is in front of my face in that moment. And I look at these people and the majority of these people are adults, you know, and, um, and I, and I look at them and I'm like, this is behavior, the way these people are acting. I mean, these people, we're all, all of us, I don't want to be like, oh, these people, but the way we are acting collectively as a group, um, Start tapping. It, it looks like a bunch of toddlers and it looks like we're um, all arguing, you know, um, and acting like a bunch of spoiled little kids who can't get their way and they're kicking their feet and screaming. And it's just, you know, it's, it's just so disheartening. And so, you know, it just makes me sad. Yeah. And actually Cynthia has been on the news a couple of times talking. So, um, to say, you know, because we're both body workers. So talking about what it's like to be in our field of, you know, we, we, even with before EFT, we both had the perspective of being helping, helping and caring nurturers. That's our work um, to help. And we took an field. oath. We yeah. also took an oath to um, protect the public. You know, I didn't take an oath. Oh, well, we did. <laughs> but well, we had to do everything in our utmost yeah. um, to well, protect it. the public yeah. and the safety and the public. It's part of our responsibility, but um, and ethical behavior, whatever. But 
you know. To be clear, New York State has very strong um, dictates for massage therapy. Y'all have so. one of the strong and um, very yeah. strict. But it's, um, you know, I feel that it's been frustrating to see with the virus how it's dividing. Um, you know, I think also I just have compassion. I do know people, like I know some people who've been positive. I know one person who died. Um, I know a person last week that died. Yeah. It's, my it's, friend's father died of COVID yes, last my week. My friend's father died of COVID. Here in Atlanta. Yeah, it's, I'm so sorry. Yeah, my friend's father died of COVID and, and it was a Zoom funeral. And it was, you know, in one way it was very beautiful, but it was also so difficult and sad because of course the whole family couldn't be there together. Yeah. And, and, and that's really the thing that's upsetting because of the attitudes are... Well, that's what he posted on Facebook is exactly what he said. His father just died that day, that morning. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he does is get on Facebook and say, tell people, listen, this is real. Yes. Wear your mask. He said that on the yeah. day that he buried his father. Because it's, I, you know, I think that especially when people are losing family members mm -hmm. and, uh, or, you know, I have another friend who is like my age and she was so sick, or I actually have two friends that are my age and they were both so sick. You know, it was, it was a really long recovery. And so the idea that it's, you know, that people don't want to take it seriously. It's, it's just, you know, it's cold. It's like, it's not, it's not honoring or valuing life. So, and it's not just the flu. Mm -hmm. No, it's not <laughs> because just the flu. It's if not the rock, if yeah. the rock, sorry guys, but I have to mention the rock. <laughs> if the rock yeah. is, you know, is sick as a, you know, like him and his family are sick and it's over three to four weeks and they can't, and it knocks him down and as healthy as he is. And then a lot of these young uh, football players that are getting sick here in Atlanta, um, they're healthy, you know, they're young and healthy. Yeah. So, so uh, you know, and, 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 it, and if you get it, it doesn't go. The other thing is, is that we, what worries me is that, you know, people are comparing it to the flu and stuff. And it's like, Oh, if I get it, I get it. But that's the problem is the the illness does not, um, you never know how it's going to affect what per each person. And so with that in mind, then why wouldn't we want to protect each other? You know? Yeah. And it's not spreading fear because it's not, it's not, it's really not about fear because actually, and especially with, EFT where that's one of the things we're clearing but it's about safety which is different you know and consideration for other people we're yeah so we're a collective I mean we tap a lot about our individual responsibilities but we're part of our individual responsibilities are to the safety of the collective mm -hmm. whether it's children whether it's parents and elderly elderly you know I I know of people who are taking care, you know, Cynthia's taking care of her family and, um, but, and, but then, and then there's millions and millions of people who have underlying conditions. Yes. Sorry. They're, they're really, it doesn't even matter. Yes. We just don't know enough about it. We don't know and, enough. So and nobody and, does. No. And, and, and that's what we have to remember. And also that people are, when you know so when people get like and it's i know it's a loaded topic but when people talk about their freedom i mean a lot of times what you're saying is you want to be free to you know not you know not be respectful of someone's life and that's i mean that's really what they're saying mm -hmm. so it's unfortunate or unless, and, and, and then the attitude changes if it happens to somebody in their family, mm -hmm. then the whole attitude changes. And, um, you know, like that, the motorcycle rally that they just had in Sturgis is the largest gathering since the virus hit. And they just have one, they keep having so many um, 
you know, but nobody wore, the majority of the people didn't wear masks and they were real close. And I know, and I saw people. that, I saw that too. And you know, that what's, they, they said, okay, the first step was tied to it. But you know what, I'm going to say my own feeling is that that wasn't, you know, they don't know how many deaths are tied to it because they're just saying the people they can directly trace that were there but you don't know well yeah there's no really easy way to trace anything you i mean not basically because like all of those people if they're in their community and they're not wearing a mask like they, they're, they're they're other people can be mm -hmm. it. and that's that's you know well the thing. point is is that it's just such a difficult and irritating oh. and frustrating and sad sad and just confusing yeah. and then there's also the financial aspect and the politicians mm -hmm. and and there's you know there's a lot about this um by everything the, the fear the, and the scarcity the scarcity you know um every minute of the day it's the scarcity is being thrown in our face mm -hmm. every so single minute and you know and the, the, to have the abundant and loving mindset that we need to heal you know it, it's it's we, we need as a collective to be caring for each other mm -hmm. and also sometimes we need to give ourselves let ourselves be empowered to stand up because we're standing up for our health you know mm -hmm. it's not about you know i'm not and i'm not i know there's this trend of like taping people and this and that but i think um like at the grocery store i think um what's important is not to like say oh this person's like that or that but it's like you need to stand up for your health and people need to feel empowered to be you know there and strong so thank you so much Cynthia, for letting me rant <laughs> about this I mean, I feel the same way. I mean, it's just, it's, it's also frustrating. And, and, you know, the, the one thing that I do want to, you know, finish by saying is it does not matter what anybody, any of us believe in or what side anybody is on or any exactly. of this, none of us know exactly like, you know, it's all hearsay. It's all secondhand information, you know, and you just take it take it in but it doesn't mean that we have to live in fear and we have to live our life in fear and be scared you know but we are smart enough we're mature enough and we know how to take care of ourselves but most importantly um we just don't need to believe everything that we hear and see on the news or the social media. I don't care what side it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use your, you know, I, it's, um, I think it's one thing is like the fear that is in the media. There's a fear mindset in the media because of whatever, you know, materialistic agenda they have of making money. But um, one thing is that you can use common sense, which is really about taking care, you know, this, this is in, in World War II or in other times when in the Great Depression, when pe people made sacrifices to make things better and they came together as a community to uplift each other. So that's still possible. Um, to make the logical and like logic, logical choices. Wearing a mask to me, I know it's become a political thing, but it is a logical thing. <laughs> and I, you know, and I, I'm and you can, you can wear a mask and put whatever the heck you want on yes. it. Like if you yes. want to say something about who you're voting for, or if you want to say something like, you know, F you, you know, so put something that you really want to say and yeah. put it on your mask. And then that way it's a win-win situation. <laughs> and then just, yeah, go about your day and everybody <laughs> will know. Just um, say F you. 
Yeah. But I have my mask on. <laughs> yeah, I, or you could write, I fucking hate this mask. Sorry, I said it. I said it. I said it. <laughs> but I mean, we all hate the mask. I mean, yeah. come on. I mean, I don't like massaging people with a mask on, but I do yeah. it. I haven't done it yet. But yeah. So And then and then, but the most important thing of all is what Pocky is saying is that it is so important no matter what, to try to keep your vibration high, try to keep your spirits high, do whatever you can to keep your heart, um, you know, free of anger and resentment and fear. Absolutely. You know, so always check in with yourself throughout the day, especially right now with all of this stuff going on and put your hand on your heart and, and feel and say, am I feeling angry? Am I feeling, you know, just what am I feeling? And then if you're feeling angry or resentful or just mad or whatever, then say to yourself, what can I do? I can start tapping. I can dance. I can sing. I can watch a funny movie. Yeah. I can call my best friend and we can laugh. I can take a bubble bath and do my nails. Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. It's, it's, it's a really great. Or reach out to a neighbor and ask them if they need something. Go for a walk outside and to see them. Write movie. down a gratitude list. Gratitude. So there's so many different ways of being positive and being a positive force in the collective. Um, as opposed to imposing your, you can have your opinions and maybe your opinions are right or maybe they're not, but imposing your uh, beliefs. beliefs, thinking that that's because, you know, we're here clearing beliefs because a lot of times, like if I impose, although me and Cynthia agree a lot, we disagree. And if I said, Cynthia, you have to believe this, then we wouldn't be able to work together and if you it's the same way the other way you know if you say like you have to believe xyz in order to like function then this world wouldn't function and right now what that's what we're seeing is that because so many people are so um you know some of them are very you know some of the things out there i absolutely am in agreement with people and, are more fear of change yes. than anything mm -hmm. And so we need to hear each other. So this is, you know, we did another video like this prior. And um, I think this year we're going to ha have a lot of these kind of tappings about this stuff. And it's because, you know, we want to be a force for good. But thank you mm -hmm. so much, Cynthia, for doing this with me. Yay. Yay. Um, I'm, I'm here for you, Pocky. I uh, need you. You need me. We need yeah. each other. And so uh, we, you can join us on Facebook at an Empowering Wellness at Home. Uh, you can join us on Instagram at Empowering Wellness at Home. Um, you can, we're, we have a ebook about raising our vibration coming out soon. And it's pretty much done, pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we have other really great stuff. And we have our 21 day challenge that we're doing and um, of self-esteem. And I think we're gonna do more of those too, more of yeah. those challenges. Oh yeah, we're gonna do lots of challenges, collaborations, podcasts, um, launching our businesses, um, just all kinds of good stuff. Cause you know, the coronavirus is obviously not going anywhere for a while. So, you know, we're here for you. And um, so we, we want to make this a fun, um, beautiful uh, transformation for all of us during this time. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you always. <laughs> and I appreciate and my dog appreciates you too. <laughs> well, anyway, Cynthia, um, just as always, what do, what do you have to say to me? <gasps> you and to everyone else until our next video just keep tapping bye, bye.